I was always fascinated with the camera, the ability to freeze the moment, you know, with a click of a button. But when I first started to really take it seriously is when I took a road trip across the country at age 17. I really got to know myself. I really got to know the country. And uh, really, I, I just realized that that's something that I wanted to do. It's more mixed media. Like I started doing just photography, but I wanted to kind of take it to a, another level. When I go and shoot, it seems like I see more of a painting than I do a photograph. Or, you know, behind the lens, I see what, what I want to create when I get back into the studio immediately. So I kind of create some kind of whimsical, timeless imagery with oil paints, encaustics, you know, different types of colors that I feel that are, you know, correct for the moment. And um, I, I just love working with different surfaces, textures, different types of media, tar, acrylics, just really anything that they kind of just will work with the imagery that I'm trying to create. When I first started doing mixed media photography, I would say the best response that I had was I love your paintings. I'm image hunting for something that I can make one of a kind, very unique images that are very timeless and um, they just look like they've been preserved for, for decades and decades. A few different series I do. My landscape series is, is more about where I've traveled and what I want to present to my audience and I want to show Earth's creation. Nowadays I'm kind of changing gears. I do love the travel. I love the landscape photography. But now that I have children, I can't travel as much. So I've, I've kind of changed gears to do more conceptual, more ethereal imagery. With the Aquia series that I'm doing now, it's really more of like a fantasy, dreamy, ethereal type of imagery that has more of a, a mood, like a mystical like feel to it, more so than beautiful Mother Earth images. Photography has always been a passion of mine, but now that, that I've taken it to a certain level of creativity where I can actually paint, manipulate, recreate, add different textures to it, it's very satisfying. It really gives me goosebumps when I create something that's, that's really unique and um, it's very exciting. And I always look forward to, to working with new imagery. So it's never boring and um, really happy.